Keep fighting Shy Rack. Don't forget to hit the like, the share, and subscribe button. This is about part two. Larry Hoover was an ambassador for the Black Peace Stones before starting the Gangster Disciple. Here's Don Durkee with the audio right here. Was an ambassador for Jeff Ford. Larry Hoover crossed over to us from being the stone. Tennessee, Prince Old Timer, they used to talk a lot. You know, even though we fought against Larry Hoover them, all the way up into 69, we fought them. They was a part of Jeff Ford. You know, when King Dave put the crown on Larry Hoover's head, Larry Hoover became you know, a, 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 the king of the supreme gangster nation. And they had to accept our implement flag, our documentation. They had to accept that. So Hoover became king of the gangster nation. King Dave was king of the disciple nation. We had our meetings on um, 63rd and Stewart and 61st in Austin. Hoover had his meeting on 68th in Austin. That's where all the gangsters met at. So if we were black gangster disciples, that means we would have had our meetings together. That means me, that King Dave... Let me stop King the audio right here. See? Jeff Ford and them was going on 63rd. See, back then, the Blackstones didn't like drugs or pimping going on. See, that's how Jeff Ford met Larry Hoover. Larry Hoover and them was pimping on 63rd and Halsted. They was going down there getting finger waves. I forgot the name of the place. My uncle and used to talk about it all the time. La T for La T somewhere. They used to be down there, Monkey D and all of the S. Larry Hoover was a pimp. And Jeff Ford and them was going down 63rd. From Kim Bart all the way back up to Halsted, riding down on the pimps and the heroin dealers getting them up out the hood. So I guess he must have met Larry Hoover down there. Larry Hoover had long butters, you know, wearing the gangster hats and all that. And Jeff Ford and them rolled down on like, talk to me, brother. Why y'all doing the Mobitis like that? Mobitis is women. The sisters, why y'all out here doing this? Woody, woody, woo. So he, Jeff Ford, he was a good speaker, good speaker. So he was out there talking, and Larry Hoover called his out, brother. Well, you got that swine in your head, woo, woo, woo. So they got to talking back and forth, then they became friends. And Jeff Ford and them, the Blackstones, was from state to the lake. Then they had everything sold up. So he pulled Larry Hoover in. Larry Hoover was one of his best ambassadors. Larry Hoover got all this teaching and his knowledge from Chief. Malik, Jeff Ford, he taught Larry everything he knew. See, it's 21 bricks in the pyramid. It's 21 tribes of stones. So Larry Hoover, he wanted his own tribe. But Jeff Ford told him, no, Larry, stay next to me. I got you. I'm going to put you in. But Larry Hoover was impatient. He wanted to grow. He wanted to start his own thing. So they went down and had a meeting. And Larry said, I'm ready to go. And Jeff Ford was a humble, honorable man and let him go. And that's when they started the Gangster Disciples. That's when they started all their thing up. Yeah. Larry Hoover was a pimp on 63rd and Halsted. They were pimping down there. And Jeff Ford went down there to ride down on the pimps to clean the neighborhood up back then. See, that's why Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford, they really weren't, weren't no enemies like everybody you see on some of these. They weren't like that. Back then, it wasn't about no killing and all that. It was about sending the kids to school, free lunch programs, and all those kind of things. Then things just turned different when the drugs came on the scene. See, when them drugs came on the scene, Larry Hoover, the El Rukens had went down in that, like 80, what was that, 88, 89? They went down. Then that's when the GDs became super strong and unstoppable. And the GDs had the streets in the headlock. Because they had all the projects, all the prime real estate, all the all the ghetto neighborhoods. In Chicago, Larry Hoover had everything on lock. So he got all that knowledge from Jeff Ford. And that's G-Pack, and I'm out.